What's going on guys? We're back out at the Broad River. It's me and my boy Ethan today. We're gonna try to go after some small mouth, maybe some large mouth. We'll see what happens. Maybe some cats. We'll see. Here's the uh, setup today. I got the uh, tatula rod with the chatterbait tied on. Y'all seen that before. Currently on this one, I got the wacky, wacky worm on it. And that is just my, uh, what is this? The pin battle two reel. I think that's a 2,500. And then this is just a medium fast uh, H2 Express reel. I think that's the brand that comes from Sports Academy. Then I got my St. Croix rod. This is the Triumph that I like using for top water. It's just real thick and heavy, so it's easy to throw these, these bigger baits like that. And uh, this is a speed spool or a speed spin mock reel from, uh, what is, who, who makes this? Luz, Luz makes that. And it's and it's a little it's a cheaper reel, but it does really well, and it's got a fast uh, high gear ratio, so you can pull it in real quick. It's great for the whopper plopper. But we're gonna get on the water right now. It's nice and low. It's clear. It's a cool day. It's about I'd say it's probably like 65 degrees right now. It's noon, and the water is still 72 degrees or so. I mean I can't really tell just by feeling it, but it's probably about 72 degrees just from experience being out here. So uh, we're gonna hit the water now and go upstream. We're going all the way down and around. So uh, see you guys in a minute, stay tuned. Yeah, I definitely need to put a new line on this. Like the line's making weird noises when I reel it in. Like it's all brittle or something. Oh. cheap line too and I keep using it in the river and not replacing it after a while. I'm trying near this like rock right here because I've had success here in the past. This whole pool right here is pretty good. You can like any of this really. Here you can move this out of your way if you need. Are you good man? I'll work the movement, mate. You, you can do that, mate. Uh, I got bit by something. I really just think a bass just hammered it. Oh, oh, you saw that. What happened? Right in front of you. You might have got on your GoPro. I'm gonna cast over there because it's probably hungry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sink a little bit of chatterbait. Yep. See if that'll uh, do it. I'm gonna try mine. See if they want this one. That black and blue. Oh. That's how I'm scratching mine up. They may, who knows. It almost like a, it reminds me a little bit of a center bait. A little bit, but it's, it's just like, it's like wiggles. It reminds me of like how jerk baits are. I got something on, it's probably a catfish. Ooh. Am I recording still? I don't even know. Yeah, you might need to use something black and blue. <laughs> Probably. That just gives me more confidence in that color right there. Yeah, that's a catfish. Probably, Probably a catfish. It's just. I'm ready to land for you. I don't know how big it is. I can't tell. I don't know if I have my drag set right. He, by the way that you're pulling that thing up, he looks like a decent size. I don't know, it could be only be like 5 pounds. Yeah, it's only like 10 pounds. 10 pound blue or channel, I can't tell. It's a blue. I don't yeah, know if I'm I don't... that thing though. Yeah, there you go, there's your dinner, dude. You are just talking about dinner. Woo! Yeah, you don't want to get wet. Oh, uh, he's gonna, dude, I might have to retie the way that he's got my line. He's pulling a lot of line. 
Just, you should I'm, be good. It's 14 pound, I think. Let him get tired. Let him get tired. It's 14 pound. You can probably pull him up in. Just grab his tail and the. Oh no! Don't grab him now. Let me pull. Let me get him over here. Actually. He looks kind of nasty. You don't want him? No, I want him. So I do have my drag set right then. Those black dots on the back, those, those are worms. Are they? I think. I can get them. Hold on. Um, can you get I can, you, you have more, there's more room over here for me to No, I, I got it, I got it. I just don't like grabbing them. I can grab them. I ain't afraid of them. I got pliers for a reason. Am I recording even? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's red. Here. Throw him over here to me. I'll put him on the stringer. Trying to get him. so quick I can't do anything No, I got a fish. I just have the... Are you recording? Yeah, I think so, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just an idiot and have my drag really loose. I think it's a bass, pretty sure. It's fighting like one. Yeah, that's a bass. There'd be something over there, see? Small Ooh. Big one too. Maybe that's why my drag. Maybe I did have my drag set right, and this is a big fish. Yeah, you better get that. I'm gonna get him. He hooks. I'm using the circle hooks, you know. I'm not gonna try to force him in. I've done that too many times. It's a good one. That's like an 18, maybe 20. I don't know. Might be 20. I don't know. I can't tell either. I'm glad I got it on film. Very cool. He's very brown. Look at that. You see that? Yeah, that's a very pretty fish. You want to try to land him for me if I can get him up there? Yeah, I Don't do that. You're good. You're good. You're good. I'm just going to let him dig. I'm going to bring him back around to you, though. Because I got both hands on the rod. Big mouth. I got both hands on the rod right now. Ooh, nice fish, Eric. That's a big one. Thank you, sir. That's a big one, Eric. I don't know. He might He's probably only three and a half, though, right? Four. You think he's four? four. All right. Oh, man, look how, look how that, look at that thing. Yeah, he might be four. This might be the we'll one. weigh him. He's look at, look at the belly though. Not as thick as the other ones I've been catching. All right, we're about to weigh him. Oh, he's geez. three and yeah, three plus for sure. We're about to find out. Here we turn that back on. So. Like I said, three and a half. Yeah. Like 3.6. It's holding at 3.6. That's a nice it's fish. It's a pretty good fish. It's a nice fish, man. And now we're going to just measure this guy, this girl, too. I, I'm going to get my pants all slimy. I don't care. Like right at 19, maybe more. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just going to see for myself on the video, too, you know? Yeah. 19. So... 
Yeah, you're right. Right at 19. Literally right at 19. A little bit over. All, oh, wait. No, that fish is 19 and a half, I think. Yeah, it's like 19 and a little bit, maybe. Okay, so she's just thin. This is a thin fish. I'm gonna get her back in the water, though. She was hungry, that's for sure. We'll do an underwater release for a fish like this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this three and a half pound smallmouth go. We're gonna let it go right now. Very cool, we're about to get back out there. It's definitely a lot better when they do that. I think I have something. I think I have a fish. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no, he came off. It was a big bass. He was on the shallows over there. That was a big bass, dude. I'm going to try it again. It was only on for a little bit. Getting hot and sunny. I really need to change the line out on this reel and rod. It's not looking that great. Nice, another one. Another good one on the Cinco. Looks like a small mouth again. Yep. Um, I might have to take this one out. This looks like a spot mixed with a small one. Looks like a mean mouth. Yeah, that's a mean mouth, I think. It had, when I was first reeling it in, the way I could tell it was a mean, ooh, let me make sure I don't kill myself here. Um, the way I could tell it was a mean mouth is it has this patchy, patchy stuff right here. So it's definitely a mixture, but actually, uh, well, I don't know, maybe that is a small mouth, I don't know. Get worried about the fish genetics. Look at that. Doesn't that look blotchy? Looks blotchy. What? Oh, nice. I'm about to come over there. Well, All right, so go, if you want to put them on the stringer, you can. This but. is a. Um, I think this is a mean mouth. It's a mix between a spot and a small mouth. So I'm gonna remove it from the river. And then Ethan caught a small mouth over here. You can put it on the stringer if you want, I'll eat it. Okay, yeah, I'll put it on the stringer then. That way it gets used. Alrighty. Alright, so the bass seemed to like this on sale color. <laughs> the only reason I'm using this one is because I got it on sale. But look at it, it's nice and like neon. And the water's nice and clear right now, so like, I think the neon's kind of popping for that lime. I think it was called lime and watermelon is what the color was, but they are liking it and I'm liking it. I'm liking it, they're liking it. So we're gonna keep getting in here, keep seeing. Ah, oh, that's probably a gar. Something really hit it there. We'll throw it back over this pool over here.
Nathan's having to retie his leader on. So the only thing about those wacky worms is they, uh, I'm even doing it now too, is they got the open hook, so you uh, snag, you really snag. I mean, the circle hook's supposed to help prevent it, but you never, I mean, it, you can only prevent it so much unless you got a weed guard or something, you know? Put my thing back in the, my worm back in that stream. Put it back in this thing. See what happens. Watch it get bit. Got another one on. I was letting it sit there. Another smallie though. Another good little fish. Just a baby one though. Just feeding in these little pockets back here. They seem to like this worm choice. Oh, I hope he didn't swallow it because I'll let him let it sit there so long. He may have. Oh, he did swallow it. Alright, well, there's that little fish. I'm gonna have to see if I can get this out of him. Alright, guys. I could not get the hook out. It was really deep in there, but uh, I tried, so I just cut it and we're just gonna let him go. But right, here we go now. Hopefully it'll survive. Got a little fish nibble right here. But it was just a baby bass, if anything. Oh, that was it again. I'm gonna keep trying. I might be able to make this one mad or something. Oh, I got something. I did have something, dude. What? What is it down here? Is like a baby bass or something? I think I may have overwore my welcome here. Threw this at them too many times, now they know. That was very cool though. I think I got one. <laughs> it's a brim. Or no, it's a tiny little bass. That's the smallest bass I've caught in a long time. Tiny small mouth, wow. That thing is just a baby. Wow. Let me get back. So that's what was messing with me. Little pipsqueak. What's going on, guys? We're about to get off the river. Ethan hasn't had the best day today. <laughs> Hopefully he can make it home because his car is kind of burning up right now, the engine. Hopefully it's not too much of an issue, but... Um, we had a, an okay day. It wasn't the best. You got to see that three and a half pound smallmouth and then the uh, catfish was pretty cool and a few other bass. But uh, we weren't able to really connect on anything today. No, no true pattern or anything. Just kind of finding random bass here and there tucked up in the pockets and some feeding. So uh, it's been a good day, but not crazy. But hope to see you on the next one. Bye now.